Thanks. So better connectivity. Um, yeah, better NAT traversal in general. Uh, we are, uh, IPFS is a peer-to-peer -peer network, which means that there are no client-server models. There is no possibility for a server to, like for an admin um, of a server to configure itself, uh, exposing ports in a NAT, in a router, and so on. Really, everybody in the network is providing services to each other. Therefore, we need to provide seamless connectivity. And <clears throat> there are several ways to do this. Of course, we have kind of like taken the, so far, We've taken kind of like the more aggressive fallback route in Libby2B, which is uh, setting up relay infrastructures, which means that basically these are nodes in the network that are piping traffic in a collaborative fashion for other nodes in the network. Um, sorry, I just uh, run all this way. So um, another way to uh, open up ports in a NAT is by using UPnP or NAT PMP, which means that you're interacting with the router and telling it, hey, I need a port mapping for this, right? But there is a space in the middle, which is you find a peer in the network you want to interact with, you establish an embryonic connection to them via a relay node, and start a procedure that's called hole punching. And this is basically a synchronization between two nodes, such that they are initiating connections to one another, and in the, in the attempt, while that is happening, routers, maybe magically, <laughs> will uh, establish uh, pinholes, what we call pinholes, which are basically small openings, <clears throat> and that will allow a direct connection to flow between those peers. But once we start doing that, there are a number of things that are challenging. <clears throat> For example, uh, if you have already established traffic, uh, traffic streams and so on with the relayed connection, you want to transplant all of that state because you don't want to start from scratch if you manage to upgrade during the process in parallel to a direct connection. So that was one of the challenges that we discussed, uh, transplanting stream state. Um, another one is how do you identify peers with, within shared LAN segments, because in many cases, NATs are multi-tiered. So this means there's a NAT behind a NAT behind a NAT. And um, yeah, well, some of the solutions, sorry. <laughs> uh, some of the solutions had to do with uh, yeah, protocols and things. So come find us if you want to learn more. Sorry for that. <laughs>